2016 has seen a bounty of RPG goodness hit Nintendo systems. Whether it's the traditional, the strategic, or the wacky, we haven't gone a month this year without some variety of RPG hitting the 3DS and even the Wii U. But we wanted to find out which ones were the must-have games of the first six months of 2016, so with the help of our NWR staff and our lovely fans on Patreon, we set to work. I'm John Reardon, you're watching NWR TV, and these are the top five RPGs of early 2016. Number five, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. With Paper Mario shifting more toward the adventure genre with the upcoming Color Splash, Mario and Luigi has become the last Mario RPG series left standing. Paper Jam's 3DS predecessor, Dream Team, had some rough spots, but Paper Jam turned down the talkiness and cranked up the absurdity by bringing Paper Mario characters into the real world or the, the not paper world whatever world I, I don't know the world of the Mario and Luigi games although the toad hunt slowed things down a little bit papercraft battles and the amazing trio attacks spiced up the combat and the writers at Alpha Dream clearly had a blast playing with the paper concept number four bravely second end layer like Paper Jam, Bravely Second End Layer had to make up for some of its predecessors' issues. The sequel to the surprise RPG hit of 2014 let go of the constant repetition that marred the end of Bravely Default, and was roundly praised for doing so. The popular Brave and Default battle system added more risk with the ability to take on chain battles, which let you see just how many waves of enemies you could eliminate in a single round. With popular returning characters and an expanded job system that added such jobs as a lethal pastry chef and a crazy cat fighter, most was forgiven the second time around. Number 3. Fire Emblem Fates Birthright The polling was incredibly close between the two versions of Fire Emblem Fates, but both games are shining examples of the strategy RPG. And they're the fastest selling games in Fire Emblem history outside of Japan. The Birthright version sticks close to the playstyle of Fire Emblem Awakening, but that doesn't mean it's a cakewalk by any means, especially on lunatic difficulty. The story is classic Fire Emblem, with betrayal, doubt, and tragedy coming in full measure, as it proves that light is not always the best way to travel. Number 2. Fire Emblem Fates Conquest Although the Birthright version was the faster seller in the US, our staff and Patreon supporters are clearly fans of the classic Fire Emblem challenge, as Conquest just barely beat out Birthright for the second slot. Conquest forgoes the optional grinding and forces a lot of planning to ensure that your party can handle what the traditionally brutal Fire Emblem AI will throw at you. Recent Fire Emblem fans will appreciate some of the characters you'll pick up, while pretty much everyone will find the ending to be satisfying. Note that the Revelations version is considered DLC, and so we didn't include that in our voting. Number 1. Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE With all the 3DS RPGs this year, it's still a Wii U RPG that takes number 1 in our countdown. Once we got over what Tokyo Mirage Sessions was, you would think that the Radiant Historia and Devil Survivor team crossing with intelligent systems would make a strategy game, but whatever. What we got was a graphical and musical powerhouse that's also a quality turn-based RPG. The frenetic combo-based battle system builds from an extra hit to multi-hit extravaganzas that fully heal your party, do massive damage, and summon singers dressed like the Squid Sisters. Yes, really. And you unlock more battle abilities by completing fun side quests that present the best of what Japan's entertainment industry has to offer. All this combines with a highly effective use of the Wii U gamepad to make Tokyo Mirage Sessions a remarkably accessible RPG for just about anyone. No wonder Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE is our number one RPG of the first half of 2016. But how will it hold up for the rest of the year and beyond? Well, the best way to find out would be to subscribe to Nintendo World Report TV so that you don't miss any of our videos. Not to mention, there's a huge backlog of Nintendo-centric goodness here for you to enjoy. If you enjoyed this list, give it a like, and don't forget to leave your list down in the comments. And a quick special thanks to NWR staff member Donald Terrio, who worked on the script for this list because, let's be honest, I'm not nearly good enough at RPGs to have played through all these already this year. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Once again, my name is John Reardon, and I will see you next time.